Hello everybody, this is Dragon Gold from CutsworldGold.com and today I'm going to show you how to spot fake gold from real gold. In order to do this, you're going to have to equip yourself with a few items. First, you need a powerful magnifier, like this one I'm using right now. Every piece of gold should be hallmarked, so look for this hallmark on every piece of gold that you wish to test. Usually on a gold chain the hallmark is here, on the clasp. On a band the hallmark is usually on the inside of the band. Like the one you see here, it says 585 which corresponds to 14 karat gold. Also you have 375 for 9 karat, 585 for 14 karat like I said earlier, 75 for 18 karat, and 916 for 22 karat and of course 990 or 999 for 24 karat gold. However, not every piece that is hallmarked is made of gold entirely, which brings me to the second item you would need, and that is a very powerful magnet, like this neodymium magnet over here. Neodymium magnets are currently the strongest type of permanent magnets in the world. What you should do next is pass the magnet over the gold pieces. If you feel a strong immediate attraction, the likelihood is the item is gold plated and the base metal is copper or nickel or an alloy containing one of these metals. You could of course be dealing with iron or other magnetic elements as well. I should demonstrate right now, yeah? Okay, so these are gold apparently, or non-magnetic. These are gold, gold, gold and not gold. You can obviously see how the gold chain immediately attached to the magnet with a strong immediate effect. I'm trying to pull it. Look how it pulls towards the magnet and this is definitely, definitely not gold or gold plated. However, if there is only a small attraction that you can barely feel it, that doesn't mean that it's not gold. That means that the gold alloy has a metal in it that is magnetic. Take, take this wedding band for example. It has 14 carats. It's bought from a jeweler and I've tested it myself. So it's proved to be 14 carat gold. So I know it's genuine. But if if I approach the magnet slightly, I can feel a slight attraction, but you can observe it's nowhere near the effect the magnet had on the chain, yeah? The wedding band stays still in the hand and on my palm and I only feel a slight, slight attraction, but nothing major. So, after you see this reaction, if you still think your gold necklace is still gold <laughs> and don't believe my words, then you have your third option which brings me to the third item you would need and that is the ultimate acid testing kit. The acid testing kit looks like this. With a few bottles inside with acid containing nitric acid of different concentrations. Now, normally you have the file here, as you can see it. You take the gold chain from the magnet or the piece that you think is gold. You file it like here find a good spot and you file deep, 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 deep enough and then you place it on a piece of wood, take the 9 carat acid, and place a drop of acid on it. If the color turns green, which has already happened, 
then you're definitely, definitely holding in your hands a piece of gold plate item. Bear in mind though that acid testing involves filing the item and placing drops of acid on the file portion, therefore you need to think twice before applying this method to an antique piece. On the other hand, this last method should provide you with 99.9% .9 accuracy providing you file deep enough. Just a drop or two of the acid on the file portion is enough to show you if the metal is gold or gold plated or not gold at all for that matter. This is today's lesson on Dragon Gold from www.cutfallgold.com and I thank you for watching this movie.